This morning we are in our outdoor kitchen pre presented by Crave Rhode Island. Chef Andy Husbands is here from the Smoke Shop Barbecue. If you are standing where I am right now, it sm already smells so good. Thank you. Something about smoked meats that yeah. just eat, you know, scream summertime. Yeah. And what a delicious scent to have, like, lingering in your home all day. It's my favorite. It's absolutely my favorite. Mm -hmm. What are we making today? So today I'm going to show you how to make the best ribs. Um, these the best. are. I believe so, and you know, um, I know. Pressure's on, Andy. <laughs> and you know, I, I think, but when you think barbecue, you kind of do think competitions a lot. Yeah. And I, you know, in, in my new latest book, and at my restaurant, but in my latest book, uh, Pitmaster, we really show you how to make the best ribs, so you can roll into your neighborhood mm -hmm. and show everybody else up. So tell us about the ingredients that we're going to use for our rub and for our sauce. Okay, so for the rubs, which are over here, um, rubs are basically made up of uh, sugar, so brown mm -hmm. sugar, regular sugar, regular sugar, and salt. That's kind of the basis of it. Then we have paprika, chili powder, cayenne, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and cumin. Nice. Really simple. Okay. In fact, that's not necessarily the best part. The best part is the sauce. What do we um, need for that? And we took a little twist, um, you know, on it. So we made it with uh, maple syrup. So that was our mm, base for our sugar. We have sweet. maple syrup, brown sugar, and vinegar. That kind of makes it sweet and sour. Little ketchup, little Asian chili paste, which you don't necessarily always see. Mustard, bunch of spices, must, uh, mustard seed, black pepper, uh, garlic powder, fresh garlic, thyme, and a little bit of Worcestershire. Awesome. We got everything we need. We're going to show you how to make the best ribs when we come back. We are outside in the backyard barbecue presented by Crave Rhode Island. Chef Andy Husband's here uh, and from the Smoke Shop Barbecue. And we have, we've got ribs we're going to put together. Yes. And we were just saying we are so happy that the sun is out because this, it kind of puts you in the mood to make things like this. Yeah, the, you know, ribs in the summer and barbecue and that smell that, that smell, you I can, smell, All of the so. stuff that you have here today, you can really <laughs> smell. It smells like summer. So what do you want to do right now? We're going to start making the sauce. Sauce, and that's just going to be real quick. I'm going to show you how we do this. Okay. If you wouldn't mind adding the vinegar Absolutely. right in there, the maple syrup, just add it all in, the brown sugar, the spices. Now, a lot of these things, not only are they are they there for um, for flavor, but they're also there to almost tenderize the meat and kind of break it down. Yeah, uh, give it a little consistency, give it a little bit of flavor. You can add that thyme and that Worcestershire and brown sugar. All right. And what we're doing is making a gastrique. Um, all the recipes are online, mm -hmm. and you know you guys can grab, you can get on your website and get them. Sure. Um, but what we're doing is we're going to take all these flavors, these dry herbs, we're going to put it over here and boil them for about a minute or two, just so they um, kind of the flavors come out, like making tea. Right. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make a rub. Now, a rub is kind of a misnomer because actually it's more of a dusting, and I'll show you that mm -hmm. in a little bit. But all we do is we take brown sugar, granulated sugar, salt, paprika. Mm -hmm. And all of these spices, black pepper, onion powder, now, this is a lot, yeah, you, you would think. Right. But for me, this will last about a summer. And in a cool, dry place. All of this place, will last about a summer? For you? For too? me, yeah, at home. Right, I mean, at not home. the yeah, restaurant. I was going to say, at the restaurant. Yeah. The restaurants are going through about 50 pounds a week and we okay. each different rub. Right. And all we do simply here is just mix it up. I mean, that's it. You're going to want to store this in a cool, dark place with all your herbs and spices. Um, the sun and any kind of damp environment will actually make it uh, right. kind of dissipate and not be as big flavored as you want. And how long should you put it on your, the, the ribs before you actually get it on the on the grill? Not that long, really about um, maybe 30 minutes max. Right. Salt so, actually de dehydrates. Oh, okay. So it will make it tighten. All right. Doesn't okay. really tender it. Sounds good to me. So we will get this put together, put some of the rub on it, check out some of the sauce, talk about what's going on at the restaurant. It smells good. Summer is here, folks. Back to you. We are back outside in the backyard barbecue presented by Crave Rhode Island. Chef Andy Husband's here. Smoke shop barbecue's a place. Mm -hmm. Sun is out. We got ribs. Yeah. Yeah. It's Come good. on over. Come on over. <laughs> Have a party. They probably won't be here for long, though. They're not no, going to last. Gonna, they're not going to last. So in the last segment, we made um, the, the rub. Yes. That, and you said that's a misnomer. Yeah. And I'm going to show you what we do with the rub. First, I want to show you this is a St. Louis cut ribs. Mm -hmm. And all ribs have this little membrane on the back here. I use a paper towel. And I kind of just kind of grab it, and I'll show you very quickly. Peel Ooh, it. Peel that right off. off. Now because that, you wouldn't eat that anyways. You can eat it. I wouldn't eat it. And right. it's from, this is from good to great. And if we want to have the best ribs in our neighborhood, that's what we need to do. Okay. And then we just always just flip it over. That's the meat side. Right. And we have our rub here. And you know, people think maybe you need to rub it in. Mm -hmm. But really, what we do is just nicely coat it. Lay just it on top. 
give it a dusting. And um, we have a secret trick, which I'm gonna show you when we're done. We take, we're gonna take this, we put it into our smoker or our grill. We give you uh, recipes how to do both in our in the cookbook. Right. Oh, and nice? uh, I'm gonna show you exactly what they look like when they are done. Now, Andy, when, when you take that, you, you took that membrane off, is that so that the, the rub or all of the flavors kind of like yeah, get, I closer, both click, get closer to the, the it's, meat itself? It's also, it just, it doesn't really necessarily cook away, so it's still there when, right. when you're eating your ribs. So it's just one last thing to have. Okay. And then, Here we after go. they've been smoking for about oh, four man. hours, oh, man. we get something like Ooh, that. Ooh, that looks good. And if you remember last time I made that sauce, I'd added the ketchup while you were away. Sure. And what I like to do is, just brush on a little bit of salt, sauce like so. Mm -hmm. It but, smells so good. Now this sauce, it, you know, like it makes it about so six cups, but it will last forever in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And this sauce can go on anything from ribs, of course, but it can go on your steaks, it can go on your fish. It's That's absolutely delicious. That's a great delicious. suggestion. So what we do here, kind of the next pro tip I'm gonna show you, these are a little bit hot, is I cut them. You flipped it over to cut them. Is that so you can easily see where the, yes, the ribs? Yes, I got to see where that bone is. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to cut. So I can show you. I kind of like that. And then the mm -hmm. when we're competing, we compete in barbecue competitions around mm -hmm. the country. And what we do is we'll cut them, we'll glaze them again just to make them look super sexy. Look. And then that's what we want. Super like sexy. A sexy rib. And that's then what we want. Super a reverse sexy. rub. Ooh. Just to give a little bit of the This is going to give it a little bit. This takes it from, from good to great to awesome. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, as we know, in that right. rub, and it really makes it perfect. Oh, I have wow. a couple of napkins yeah, for you guys. Yeah, we're going to need those. Are those, barbecue, as, um, are those barbecue competitions as intense as they look on TV? Mm -hmm. They're more intense. Are they really? They're, they're, there's a lot on the line. And we've, uh, we've lost a lot and won many. Right. Oh my God. Now, as look we dig this. into these, oh, tell never. us about your book. We were just talking earlier in the show of... of you know, bookstores opening, yeah. and people really liking a, a an actual book on yeah. hand rather than flipping Ooh, through their phone absolutely. or doing whatever. Tell well, us about it. Well, this is the fifth book I've written. It's called Pitmaster. You can get it on Amazon or any reputable bookstore. I love the local bookstores. Mm. Oh um, my God. And what we did is with this book is we wanted to, you know, we're, we're competition and restaurant people, that, mm -hmm. me and Chris, who wrote this book together, but we wanted to make recipes for people to be able to do at home. Mm -hmm. um, so easy. We have this recipe, basically a three, two, one ribs, which this is. Not hard at all. You do need a you know a smoker, which is not that expensive to buy one, and you're gonna have the best ribs in your neighborhood. What do you'll you think? You'll get a lot it's of delicious. use out of that smoker too if you have one at home. They're sure. so good. These are phenomenal. And actually, yeah. you know what I like? That you actually sprinkle a little more stuff on on it at the end. Yeah, that's, that's the process so right there. And the sauce is so good too. Thank it's a reverse God. rub, Will. Mm. <laughs> I feel like that's like a cool move that an athlete would do. Yeah. Can yeah. we say that again in slow motion? <laughs> Now tell us about the restaurant too. Okay, so we're about a year old. We're in Cambridge in Kendall Square, mm -hmm. 150 Great seats. Spot. We have New England's largest American whiskey collection. Over 150 Ooh. bottles of American whiskey. Wow. Whiskey. You like the brown? Yum. We've got it. 65 uh, American um, uh, craft beers, taps, 25 taps. It's it's a really fun, great place. I mean, you got wet naps? Uh, we got plenty of wet naps. <laughs> I have another towel here for you if you like. Um, yeah, it's it's been great. Uh, it's, it's called the Smoke Shop on Kendall Square, mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, it's, it's been real successful. My other restaurant is celebrating 21 years coming wow. up in December. Congratulations, Jamie. I know. Really I opened wonderful. it when I was 12, which is really weird. <laughs> Surprised they let me do That's that. That's even more impressive. <laughs> All this right. Well, delicious, these are delicious. delicious We're going to keep Thank digging so into these. these. Uh, we want to 